4 o'clock news. Today's top story is the Angel Harrison abduction. Angel Harrison, the grandmother of Stacy Harrison, was abducted on November 16th at the local IGA. During the ongoing trial, her abductor, Mr. James Tracy, seems to contradict himself when he is being questioned on the stand. Many believe he is lying. Also, the defense is beginning to run out of adequate evidence. Angel Harrison has claimed Mr. Tracy tried to seduce her and that he told her it was mandatory for her to bake him chocolate chip cookies. Also, in Washington, Congress is trying to pass a law stating that it should be mandatory that all citizens tug on their left ear while taking a photo. The president, an advocate of this bill, has been trying to educate the country about this while he's been campaigning. Many representatives of the South don't find this idea perceptible, but the bill is now irrevocable. It's too late to countermand it now that the president has signed on it. And now to Jason, live from NNHS for a special report. Thank you, Elsie. I am here at a high school in Indiana, and the cafeteria you can see is totally empty. Um, the students have left this in, in utter desolation. Is the food really that bad? Would you eat it, Jason? I can honestly say that I'd rather decapitate myself than anticipate when I'm going to lose it too. Is there anyone who would actually eat the food? Usually be there, there should be tons of children around here eating food, but they would rather not eat and starve because they don't know when they're going to break their dentates. Well, yes, there is one exception. People say he captivates audiences everywhere. He even has his own language and so soliloquizes. Who is this person? Well, sorry, but I can't devolve that information, Kelsey. But thank you. Next week, I'll have a special report with this school being one of them. Now we go to Jordan for the weather. Jordan? Cold! Thank you, Jordan. Now on to... Hold on, I'm not done speaking yet. Okay, speak. As indicated on radar, it's below the negative single digits here, with winds going over 80 miles an hour on and off. Done yet? No! Continue. I was sent here on an expedition to monitor the storm, and I get what, only four dollars an hour? Tisk tisk tisk. Jordan, tisk isn't an actual word. That and complain on your own time. Never! I am not recommending Discord if that was what you're thinking. I am not being verily. Oh, so what's with this ice storm? This ice storm is going to magnate as the day goes on. Get the fudge indoors. Fudge? I had brownies this morning. I was in anger saying, what could I do? Jordan, Jordan, you're not fired from the station. Ah! In a malicious storm, and you're joking around, it's personal. Relax, the guys will put you in a happy hotel in a straitjacket when you're coming home. No, that is just annoying. Tell me about it. I was visiting a friend of mine. Sure, sure, that's what they all say. I will think of a plot revenge. Don't think I won't. I got this. You got it? Okay? Yeah. Today that'll happen is when people like sci-fi channel originals. I like sci-fi channel movies, bub. Can we get it back on topic? This storm is getting pretty malignant. I thought you were better than that. I'm not wagging my finger like Stephen Colbert. I wish I could turn you into a dog and use an ultrasonic whistle to bug you for a week! Sure, that's what you want, isn't it? Oh, believe me, I'll try! No, you won't. Yes, I'm serial about it. This isn't South Park, and you're not Al Gore. It must be, because you act like Man Bear Pig! Excelsior! No! Thanks, you just murdered the skit. Never, this is a skit. No! Two things, one, being overdramatic is my job. Two, get your lines right. I'm sobbing now. Seriously, that was cruel. Ah, I told you I would get my revenge. <laughs> Stop making up words. Never. I'm a camera hog and I always will be. <laughs> then we're about to get sued for copywriting. Who cares? Now respect my authority. Oh boy, you wrecked this kid royally. That one wasn't mine. It was in a South Park episode in 1998. Oh, for the love of... Man Bear Pig? This isn't Mad TV. I know, it's the Colbert Report. You wagged your finger like Stephen Colbert. Except I'm not afraid of bears. There goes your theory. Excellent. I just saved a bunch of money in my car insurance by switching to Geico. Oh, boy. No, you won't. What? I'm serial. Excelsior. OK, then, smart Alec. Prove it. Here. Yeah. <laughs> you just vanished into thin air. I think so. <laughs> Who cares? Now trying for sports. Thanks, Jordan. Good evening, I'm Ryan Georgiev. And now for today's sports updates. We have a lot of interesting happenings taking place in the sports world today. First of all, we'll start off with high school sports. I mean NFL sports. Sorry, all this pumping iron gets my brain, 
My brain all mixed up and confused. It was a sanguinary display as the Vikings beat the Bears 20 to 13. Rex Grossman sat on the bench as quarterback, and Kyle Orton finally got some playing time. Anyways, they succeeded in their goal after the impossible interception by the Vikings, which made it impossible for the Bears players to catch up after the lucky catch. Oh, God. Second in the line for today's big news is the soccer game from, from Sunday. Kaka of Brazil <laughs> was recently named 2007 World's Player of the Year. Second in line on the list for today's big news is the soccer game from Sunday. Kaka of Brazil was recently named 2007 World's Player of the Year. There was an interesting award he was giving the team swept away the competition. He left his major rival, Coughlin Mahu, with grass stains and tears as he made the winning goal with an effortless attempt. In college sports news, the biggest hype is being thrown down about the Purdue Boilermakers. The basketball team this year is now 12-0 as they go for a matchup next Monday. They play Louisiana, who is now 13-1. What would the outcome be? It's going to be interesting to see how the fact the Boilermakers coach is planning on using some new tactics. Thank you. Are we ready? Are we ready? Ready? You skipped so much of my skit, Josh. <laughs> A lot of it. There it goes. What are you doing? Sexier. Hold on. Okay, just say the lines randomly. Cold! Hold on, I'm not done yet. As in the Wait, stop. Wow, <laughs> Jason. No, I just keep going. Okay. No, Ryan, for squats. Go one more time. No, Ryan. <laughs> Shut up. No, Ryan, for squats. I love it. Everything you do is so seductive. Wow, Jason. <laughs> now you know how I felt. Hold on. Please pardon this last interruption. At this time, the junior high FFA members need to report to the hallway by the choir room. Again, junior high FFA members need to report to the hallway near the choir room. Please be quiet as there is a test going on in the cafeteria. High school FFA, please report to the choir area. High school FFA, please report to the choir area. Again, please be quiet as there is a test going on in the cafeteria. Thank you. <laughs>